Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. On behalf of Dustin and Lisa, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining them here on this beautiful evening, a celebration of love, commitment, family, and friendship. The fact that you're all here is a testament to the amazing amount of love and support that the people have for you. And they want to sincerely thank you for being here on this very special moment. Welcome everyone. This is such a wonderful evening. I'm so glad that all of you are here to make it even more special. Just a beautiful, beautiful celebration for this wonderful couple, Dusty and Lisa. Good evening, everybody. Anyone that I haven't had the chance to meet today, my name is Lynn. I am the maid of honor. I'm Lisa's little sister. She's not only been my guardian, she's been my mentor and my best friend and my partner in crime. Those of you who know me are probably very, very nervous about me giving the speech. I'd like to begin with a non-controversial statement by saying that getting married is a no-brainer, especially when it's somebody as wonderful as Lisa. But choosing me as your best man, definitely questionable. I'm incredibly lucky to have such a truly amazing brother. Dusty possesses the intangible qualities that everyone searches for in a best friend, with his loyalty, honesty, and integrity. Dusty, I'm truly happy for you. It's wonderful that you found the love of your life. As always, I hope to emulate your success, and more importantly, I wish you and Lisa the best. Congratulations. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. It's a way to tell one another that no matter what, we're in this together. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere for which each other can grow. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. Lisa's always been so compassionate. She's always been so kind. She's a very loyal person. You've seen me at my, my best and been there for me at my worst. And I'm really happy to be able to share her with you, Dustin. I'm really grateful to have you be welcomed into our family because our family is a little crazy and you've always just fit in, which makes you totally insane. I think that all of you would say that if you ever needed anything, and there's one person you could call, it would be Dustin. So it's only fitting that he would pit someone like Lisa. I think Dustin is an amazing person, but when I see him around Lisa, I think he's even more amazing. <laughs> Lisa, you make him shine. And I love you both. I'm so happy to welcome you into our family. Cheers to the bride and groom. Dustin, do you take Lisa to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> Lisa, do you take Dustin to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others? Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Dustin and Lisa, having witnessed your vows before God and all who are assembled here today, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Dustin, you may kiss the bride. For the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dustin Nero! Yeah. 